So now we have covered three big ways to organize and control your 3D model in ZBrush with masks, polygroups, and selections. Each of these features can be used to control or create the others. For example, instead of painting a mask each time you want it, you can store it as a polygroup and then convert that polygroup back into a mask. So let's see some more ways of working with this. So let's turn on the solo mode for this uh, model. So I will just press shift key over here and click on the eye of this character over here and then just press the eye for him. So he will be only sub tool that I will be looking at right now. So now what I will do here is that I will just turn on the poly frame over here, shift F. And that's how here we can see those polygraph. And let's say we want to turn uh, any one of these polygraph into a mask for example ears over here okay so what we can do over here is that we will just press ctrl shift and then click on the ears let me turn off my uh, uh my uh, you can say the symmetry and then ctrl shift and i will click on the ears and the, the only thing that you can see on the screen is the ear so let me turn down the subdivision here because it's kind of annoying a lot of wireframes so now there are less wireframes so i won't have any issue here now once you can see that what we can do over here is that we just can make a mask okay and it will be on this ear only so i'll press ctrl and I will create a mask over here. So now you can see that only ear is the one that is affecting right now. And because it's the only ear that is showing. Now, what I will do over here is that I can just press Ctrl and Shift and click anywhere outside. And you can see, uh, let me turn off my polyframe here. And you can see the only thing that is affected right now is the ear. So easily with the help of the poly group, okay, uh, we can create these sort of mask easily. So let me clear this mask over here. Just control and drag in open area. So the mask will be outside. Let me do one thing here. Let me bring up its uh, subdivision level back. Now, as you know, this is the way you can create a mask. However, there is a more direct way to do that. So, uh, as I have cleared the mask, so what you could do instead is uh, doing the previous one. You can go to your gizmo. Okay, I'll just press M over here. Oh, sorry, uh, W over here, so I can go back to my move gizmo. And what here we can do is that we can press Control on our keyboard. And click on any polygroup. Like, you know, if I will turn on the polygroup, you know the head is the poly, the hair polygroup is separate, uh, the nose is separate, the ears are just separate. So let's do the ear. So if I will press control and click on the nose here, so you can see that the nose is the only one that is unmasked and the rest of everything is masked. So now what I only want to do is that I want to just reverse the mask over here okay so just i will what i will do i'll press Control key and click in the open space and the nose will be the one that is masked so this is more direct way to do it so i will go back to my uh my draw mode and you can see that clearly i have this on my screen so this is basically a more quicker way uh, to do the masking with the help of the polygraph rather than you know uh, hiding and unhiding now let's convert a mask into a visibility uh, like selection and we could even add to this mask going back into draw mode. So I'm here now in the draw mode. Now I will go back. I'm going down over here. Okay. And here I have visibility option over here and I will just turn that on. Okay. Now in the visibility option, if you will notice, uh, we have here uh, height 
PT and show PT. Okay, and if we can uh, do one thing over here is that if I want to just hide this nose, I will just press the hide PT. Okay, and uh, let me. Okay, so I have to uh, inverse it first, and it will hide the one that is unmasked. So the nose is now unmasked. I inverse the selection, or uh, like I inverse my mask. Now, if I will do the hide PT, so the nose will be hidden now. Okay, so what this basically uh, it do is that it basically takes everything that was masked and masks its selection. So later on. If I will just go here and show PT, it will come back. Okay. And similarly, if you don't want the polygroup to do that, I can do one thing here. I can just suppose I want this area to show only. So, what I can do, I can just go here and hide PT. So, whatever is inversed is now hidden. Now, easily I can work on this area. And if I will press, uh, if I will go back here, press Control W here, so you can see this will become a mask. Now, if I will press Show PT, so you can see this part is now a mask. So this is uh, another way of doing this. Okay. Now there's one other interesting way to select that I like to use all the time, and that's when I have a sub tool that has multiple separate objects in it. So what I will do is that I will just simply go over here and convert this. Uh, I will go to the sub tool and then I will split them to parts. Okay. So, okay, I have to turn down my geometry over here. My, sorry, my subdivision. And then I can split to parts. Okay, I don't know. Uh, let's do one thing here. Uh, instead of using this one, because it have multiple parts already, so that could be a reason here. Or okay, yeah. Sorry, uh, I was doing something wrong here. As you know, I was supposed to click on group split. I was clicking on sim uh, split to parts. So my bad. Now they all are separate objects here. Okay, so I will turn off uh, everything here, and now you can see that there are separate parts here now. So what I will do here is that I will just go where the hair is, okay, suppose, and I will just press Shift and this eye icon here, and click the eye back again. So this is the only one that is showing right now on the screen. So basically, I'm in the solo mode. Now I will press uh, here Shift F so I can see the uh, the wireframes over here. Now sometimes I want to see only one of these body parts at a time. So what I'll do in this instance is sometimes if they are not all separate polygroups, what I can do is Control Shift and drag over the parts. Okay, so Control Shift and then I will just drag over the parts here. Let me do one more thing over here is that uh, let me convert this into more polygraphs. So what I will do here is that I will just click here, control W. Okay. So I can have multiple polygraphs here. So it will be easy for you uh, to demonstrate. Okay, and I will just split this hair into more clumps over here. I will the sub tool and split group. Okay, now if you will see that I have these hair. If you will notice, if I will press Control or Alt and click on these, so these are the basic one, which are getting selected, and these are divided into different sort of clumps over here okay now as i was saying that what i can do over here is that if i want to see one of them 
like suppose uh, I just want to work on this part here. Okay, so I will just simply go here. And what I can do at this stage is, as I'm on this layer, if I will uh, just go here and slightly uh, select this area, control shift and drag over this area. Okay. So this will be hidden. Okay. And what I can do over here is that I can hide the others. I can go in the visibility here. Okay. And I can hide over here. Or let me do one more thing. Here's that. Uh, let me just solo this up. Okay. So I will just solo this one up. And what I will do at this stage is if I will go into visibility and start growing this, you can see that it will start growing. And the ones that were hidden will be not shown over here. Okay. So if I will just press grow PT over here or anything which is connected to it will show. Otherwise, nothing else will be showing a show over here. So let me do over here. Uh, let me bring everything back where it was before. Okay. So. So now I have the whole model here. Uh, there's one more method of masking that I would like to cover here, and that's what the gizmo uh, usually do. Okay, so for that, I just want to go back to the light box here and bring this uh, the dog image over here, uh, the the dog file over here. Now we already saw how we uh, control click on a poly group it will make that area unmasked and everything else masked. But there is an interesting way to use this. If we hold down the control and click and drag with the help of any one of these, uh, you can say, uh, our gizmos, like suppose this lag part. So I will press control, click and drag this area. So you can see that what it is doing is it is actually following the shape of my uh, of the model over here and it is trying to mask that with the shape okay now let's uh, do one more thing here let's me uh, subdivide it so it will become easier for you to see so i can go on his face and try to mask this area okay so i will go in this gizmo i will press control and drag over his nose and you can see what it is doing basically if i'm going in the z direction you can see that what's actually doing here what it does it it's mask the uh, it makes this mask that sort of follows the shape of the object so as we drag this out we can select more and more down length of that object okay like suppose if i go here and if i want to select this of the below part so what i can do i can just click here and just move around okay uh, this part and then you can see that it is masking Later on, if you want, you can uh, invert this mask. Okay. So I can just click here uh, with the control key and it will invert. So it's, a, it's quite a nice way to do that. Like suppose if I want to uh, select his uh, tail over here. Okay. So just control click and uh, here. And just move it up. Uh, of like you know on that part and you can see that this part is masked and anywhere else you can see that wherever you want and you can just add it you know it will keep the mask all the way there and then you can just add over to it the mask or you can ch change the direction of that as well okay so 
uh, you can see that at, uh, we can do this uh, in the opposite direction too. So if we hold and control and drag it and it, uh, to the opposite direction, so it will match the opposite direction over here. Okay, so there's a lot of things to remember here, various keystrokes and such, but go ahead and practice a while before moving on because these techniques are very useful. I use them all the time. So I hope you have got these techniques of masking and everything over here. A uh, bit tricky, if, but if you will practice this quite more, uh, you know, uh, now and then, so you will get hold of it. So if you have liked my video, please click on the like button. And please don't forget to share my videos on your social network and ask others, encourage others who wants to learn, they can subscribe to my channel and it will really help me. So please uh, click on the bell icon so you can get the daily notifications. And uh, thanks a lot for helping me out. So until the next class, take care of yourself.